He was only the third man to achieve golf's career Grand Slam. And over the course of his nine major victories, Gary Player proved he had the game for any environment. But it was the Black Knight's mastery of the short game that marked him out from the rest, particularly at Augusta, where few can match his abilities on and around those famously slick greens. Golfing World's Anna Whiteley met up with a three-time Masters champion to get some tips on how to improve your putting. We're down here at Champions Retreat where we are lucky enough to be practicing our putting with legendary Hall of Famer, Mr. Gary Player. Mr. Player, we have a, a long putt here mm. and you've got some very wise words as to help the weekend golfer to master these ones. Well, first of all, the average weekend golfer, he three putts a lot of times. And the reason he, he three putts mainly is because on a putt this length, which this is about the average length he hits an iron shot from, so he gets up and he lags up and they're always like five feet by, five feet short, five feet to the right. And so he three putts. So what he wants to do is practice a lot of long putts, a lot of lag putts. And what you do is you get up. You see, it doesn't matter what stroke you use. It's feel. It doesn't matter what stroke you use on this putt here. It's still feel and getting the message to your subconscious how hard to hit it. So I've seen 20 different strokes by 20 different folks that can really putt. The best putter that ever lived is Bobby Locke. Now let me show you how he putted. I want you to get this on camera because your viewers won't believe this. He put the ball on the toe, all right? Now here's a putt that's straight. He aimed it six foot to the right. He put it on the toe. Now watch my putter when I hit the ball. Wow. But now look at this beautiful putt. This is a nice putt. Look at this beautiful putt. Oh, I think it's going to go in. Look at that beautiful putt. Look where it is. Get it. Show. Show. <laughs> see that? And I never followed through two inches. He never, ever... And you see a little divot. But what is, what is the theory behind that? No, no, no. no but um, my point is, if everybody ridicules that and everybody says, well, you cannot putt that way. But he did putt that way and he was the best that ever lived. Yeah. So... There's no right or wrong. There's no way one stroke. So what you've got to do on this, now watch, I'll show you what I do when I'm putting in a tournament, and, I'll, and I've got to putt this long. Now, uh, look at that. When you're this far away, Mr. Player, would you aim at the hole, or would you just aim to be within three well, foot of the hole? I'm trying to hold it. Trying to hold We're it. trying to hold it. You would be but trying to hold it. the thing is, the average golfer should try and put it within a two-foot circle around the hole. Okay. But he's obviously got to know, and which very few do, if you're with the grain, or you're against the grain, or across the grain. That's where your caddy will have to help you. Okay. He, and that's another story, which is very important, by the way. Mm. But watch. Okay, here I am. I look at the hole, I come back. Now I look at the hole, and I have a practice putt, but look, I'm looking at the hole, yeah. and I'm practicing putting. I'm imagining it. There, I'm looking at the hole. I'm telling myself how hard to hit it. One more time I look, and then I Eyes go ahead. Now watch the strength of this putt. Watch this. Tell me where that goes. I cannot oh. see from here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Player. It's not every day we get putting tips from a nine-time major champion. I think we're off for a short putt next. Let's go for a shorty.